Welcome to a brief history of the giant snail races and how we got to our uh, 500th show. Over here behind me is the uh, is a picture of the original race. We weren't filming it back then. We were just uh, racing around the track for about three years, and uh, I would go down to the uh, the welcome area and uh, and try and recruit new snails. Sometimes this is me and my snail snail, but uh, we were racing around Momar. That was May Best Sim, and uh, it was pretty fun. It was just down this path made 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 for us, and so she made the original race course. There's the primitive scoreboard, and I uh, also knew the person named Chase Hawthorne who owned Hawthorne, the Hawthorne Sim, and she uh, let us race there on Tuesdays. But then, it wasn't until about three years later when we were discovered by Ducky Fresh Watanabe, who showed it, who who mentioned who uh, knew the people at treat TV which was called uh, SLCN back then so Wiz Norberg and uh, Texas Tim Tam who live in Australia would get up at 3 a.m. and come watch come film the uh, giant snail races and this is what what it looked like back then it was basically uh, there was a lot of arrows and it was a confusing track sort of and you you would uh, hit these things and they would throw you up into the air and you'd go through the uh, checkpoints and at the end there was a lot of fireworks and uh, Wiz Norberg said and, and at the end of the race the, the snails explode with excitement <laughs> or something like that and that was pretty funny but actually that was just the fireworks that happened at the end and this is much later I think as much later no it's probably about the right time same time anyway we had someone come out we had some friends of mine come out and uh, Random Cole and uh, someone else and they, they uh, modified my track they made it look pretty and uh, I've been working on it ever since. That's a, there's a cannon that would fling you across the track. Those were our, were our flingers that were made by Cephiant, Cephiant Surface. And he was a great programmer. Uh, May Best knew him. But I met him over on Momar. And uh, he, he, he helped us a lot. He's, here's a sample of the uh, racers. I have no idea how I was keeping score back then. I, the numbers don't make sense to me. But uh, you can see Josie Tank was there. Blood Song Termagant. Uh, Vivis Beckham, Way You Tank. Way You Tank was a, a prime person in our, would recruit new snails for me. And she, was, she was a real go getter and she was a lot of help. Kiwi Alpha was one of our, uh, one of our announcers back then. And so was Pyria Kula. And uh, they were great people. And that's uh, Salem Sella and she was with us. And then she's wearing my robot chicken mouth, which I made. And, uh, and this is us watching the show after the race, about a half hour after Wiz Norberg could uh, whip it up and get, get it ready and we could watch the actual show that happened that day. I can't do that anymore. Uh, this is uh, more Candyland track. Uh, this was made by um, Random Cole and Sandy Mars. And they, they basically took my, my uh, track and, and just modified it and made it look pretty. And uh, it, it did. And ever since then, I've been trying to keep up to the standards that they built at that time. And it was really good. The cannons there would shoot you into the air. This was on the uh, old Havoc engine. So that be, those all became obsolete when they came out with the Havoc 4. And uh, everything worked different. But uh, this was up in the air above Mo Mar, I believe. We were back over above Mo Mar. And this was a Relay for Life race across country. And uh, you see there's Salem, Salem's uh, snail there. And this was another thing. This was back when they uh, improved on the uh, welcome area too. So I went over there. Uh, this was, uh, we tried to do the, uh, I built the uh, Alice in Wonderland track, which was very similar. To, I mean, same basic track, just different textures. And then this was a new track. And there is the uh, Relay for Life track again. And, uh, oh, then the giant prims came out. Those were great. And then they wouldn't let us race the giant snails around the track. We tried that before at the Relay for Life <coughs> or on the Relay Weekend. So they, But they did let us race the tiny snails around the track, which ended up taking about three and a half hours to do, which was crazy. And we didn't get any of it on film, I don't think. We got a little bit of the beginning, a little bit of the end on film. That was it. In this version of the track, we had this bridge that you'd run across, and the first person to run across it could do it easy, and the ones following behind would fall through because the, br the bricks would fall down. 
this is the view of the whole track there and this is the way you tanks recruiting tool school of giant snails she teaches class every once in a while to get new people to join one out of about a hundred people that she showed would actually race with us <laughs> this is kiwi alpha uh bracer x me and my little puppet guy and uh wiz norbert here's another shot of the announcers uh salem sella me wiz norberg and uh i believe it was santa cleese or bedtime bobby socks but it was santa cleese he did a, a really cool intro for that show and there's an old uh an old version this is at club snailo down down kumi kerr used to make these great cards for everyone and you can still get them made today she'll she'll still work on it if you want uh that's Wiz, uh, that's the tim, texas tim tam and uh the raccoon back there was the uh camera guy this is just something silly salem was in the hospital and uh kiwi had just recently left the show and so we made this for them to be uh, on the show still uh, this was uh, me moving the track to a new location. I believe I was moving it back to the future, hanging over the. We had it hanging over two sims, so it was the audience would sit in one sim, the uh, track would be in the other, and I believe that's the first attempt at the moving maze, or that's the first version of the moving maze. Over here, there's the whole track. It's you see it hanging over two sims there. Um, that's the old seats, the old flying seats, not the really old ones, but pretty old. Those were pretty cool though. I might go back to that. Those look pretty neat. That's the uh, what it looked like hanging there in space. That is uh, Sandy Cleese and Tendaya Soothsayer at the uh, race there. That's Waya Tank, our recruiter. She was great, and she had to go. She left because she went to go uh, spend time with her new baby. And uh, he's like nine years old now. <laughs> I hope she comes back someday. This is me trying to make the uh, the scenery. Watch this. This is the hell. The hell is named because why you tank uh, would instead of calling it hell, she'd call it the hell. So that's why we did that. And those were carrots in the background, that uh, being stalactites and stalactites. That's a better version of the maze. This is when we moved it over to Hawthorne for a while. We were in Hawthorne. It was like the 13th sim or something like that. And uh, they, mo uh, fire saver people, wanted us to get off, of the, uh, move to a different place. Anyway, we were still not making that was blood song snail back then this is uh some kind of a uh oh we put we put the snails on on wheels and raced across this was uh this is the route for uh, a race across bay city every once in a while we'd go and race across someone else's sims that was a lot of fun too usually usually to ra raise money for really for life this was at a christmas party that they had there's pirate coolie in the middle there and texas tim tam and this one is Kiwi Alpha, and um, I forget her name. And uh, and this is Ducky Fresh Watanabe, the person who introduced us to the uh, Treat TV people. Here we've got, it uh, looks like May Best, and uh, this was pretty recent. This was uh, back when Shady was with us still. This is uh, me and uh, Dr. Fran over at the uh, Relief for Life opening ceremonies. Dr. Fran was on our show for a while as an announcer. She'd do the uh, sna interesting facts about snails. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh, and there's another version of the track. And uh, there's some people in the booth and another same version of the track. There's just some pictures of the track. Oh, there's our uh, under the underwater area. This is when we... Oh, this was an interesting thing. This is when we, we had our, our instructions translated into two other languages. Spanish and Dutch. So anyway, we've uh, had to move the snail races a few times. We started on Mom Mom Momar, and uh, then um, maybe I sold the sim to uh, the Fire Saber people, uh, Gus, Plis Gus Pliskin and his Fire Saber group, and w they supported us and let us stay there, continued on for many years. And then they they had they finally shuffled us off to well I had we had, we had to change sims a few times, but they were all fire saber sims, and then we they moved us over to the mainland where we were at uh, Hawthorne for a while, and that was Chase's old Manhattan Manhattan place, and she let us stay there again for a long time, and eventually they started saying well, could you could you uh, somehow chip in a little bit of money so, so to pay for the land you're on. 
And that's when uh, Safford kicked in. Safford came to our rescue and said, uh, you can come stay at my sim for free. So we did that for a few years. And thank you very much, Safford, for letting us do that over on Devon Dreams. And then uh, Safford got tired of us and asked us to leave one day after about two years of letting us be there for free. And uh, we moved over and uh, May Best bought a sim like within a day or so. And we had the whole the whole the whole uh, race moved over to to May Best Sim, which she eventually gave to me, and uh, I've been running it ever since here on the Going Coast. And uh, okay, and then the, the other stuff we have here is uh, the uh, the crew. We've always we've had a lot of great people on the on the uh, show, and the as the announcers we've had. Uh, Oh, Tindalia's been here quite a while. Udomi's been here quite a while. Um, Maybest, of course. And uh, Shady Fox was here for a while. He was a great guy. And uh, uh, Salem Sala. Uh, all the other variations of Salem. <laughs> About three of them. And uh, oh, Lobby Riggles, uh, Kelly Kane, and many others that I've Sorry, I don't remember your names now. Um, anyway, uh, this, and we also have uh, um, Tendalia Soothsayer to thank for all these great sets that are going on behind us here. Uh, Saffir, I mean, uh, Tendalia decorates our track every single week. And uh, thanks for doing that. And uh, that, that was just uh, Stephanie Brimmer there. There's uh, our favorite, favorite ferret there, Catton Carter. We've got, uh, that's just a regular crew. Um, there's May Best. May Best does the best in show every week. And uh, she does a great job at that now. And uh, t tells jokes and uh, has fun and announces things and does a great job. And we appreciate May Best. She's the one that started it all. <laughs> she had the original sim that let us live there. And of course the snails. Alden Cortez, or Lumi Noodle, uh, the the best snails, the, the the fastest snails we've ever had were started out to be Candid Lemay, was was one of the fastest and was the original fastest. Yeah, that was back on Momar. Pyria Kula was always winning the races after that. Then uh, then I believe uh, Way Your Tank came along, and uh, there was there's was probably a few others in between there. Um, some I'm forgetting, and uh, it, we've just had a lot of great snails on on the track too. Alden Cortez is here, uh, Ulmi Noodle, again races. Um, Tendaya Susair was the main was the uh, the top of the charts for five six years or so. Was uh, the best racer ever. Um, there's been so many so many people that have come and gone in the snail as the snails. Um, and I'm and I thank them all. Like uh, Fiona Faye's our new uh, is looking really good these days. Uh, Whispering Wind, Whispering Wind, Cat and Carter, uh, Cat, um, that guy Caleb, Caleb Kit, over from uh, oh and uh, Shady Fox, got us got our sim moved over next to Raglan, which is wonderful. We love being next to next to another another uh, group. That was sort of made best idea was said we should probably move somewhere where there's other people. And uh, and luckily Shady Fox got us in there. So we're next to the uh, Raglan Shire, which we love a lot. And uh, we thank them for letting us live here. Uh, so many great sets, so many great snails. And we decorate them to theme and uh, we have a great time here. And uh, then, of course, there's the uh, announcers that we no longer have with us. That, that's, uh, that's kind of a, a downer. But uh, we had uh, Shady Fox was here for quite a while and uh, doing great stuff. And uh, we miss him a lot. That's his last known picture inside the SL, I think. I wasn't there that day, but uh, we miss him a lot. And uh, so we have the uh, Shady Fox Memorial Race, Memorial Tiny Race over on the Relay for Life Sims. And that's Russell Schwartz, the real life Shady Fox. And he uh, passed away from cancer. We miss you a lot, Shady.
And of course, uh, Salem Sala, who's not with us anymore. And uh, also known as DJ Xanadu, and a couple other Salem names, I think. <laughs> anyway, we miss you, Salem. Anyway, that was just some of the many pictures that I have the, on, about the uh, giant snail races. We also had different versions of the snail. This was the original version. It was kind of a hideous looking thing. And uh, yeah, that was before it really got its long neck. It actually did change to the uh, the shape it looks like now right before I started uh, having the event. I, I had to quickly decide on a snail to go with. And some of these aren't very, very well. And we had different sizes of snails. That was a tiny snail. 6.1, 6.3. Not a lot of difference between these. Just better scripting and slightly better work. That's a uh, way you tank snail with the hat. Anyway, then here we are in Club Snailo. That's how I looked originally. And Momar. And uh, now I own this sim. Thanks to Maybest. There's the book. There's ways to transport it. We watched the uh, race a week late, week after we film them. It's been a great ride, and I, I hope we had. I hope you had fun watching this. This was just a brief history of the uh, giant snail races. There we go.